Ya. Yeah. Profesor, usted tiene el, le cuenta Zoom Premium porque yo tengo entendido que se corta después de un tiempo. Sí, sí vamos a cortar. Ahora vamos a tener que hacerlo así porque a los 40 minutos se, se va a cortar. Ah, ya. Así que y vamos a entrar al en mismo link. Ahí entrar. Ya, perfecto. ¿Ya? Ustedes lo han hecho, creo yo, muchas veces, ¿o no? Así. Sí. Porque nadie, hasta ahora nadie, no, anda, no le han dado a nadie, ¿cuánto se llama? Eh, ah, ya, ya entiendo. Eh, la cuenta. La cuenta la cuenta extendida. El año pasado nos dieron a todos, o la gran mayoría teníamos cuenta extendida, pero ahora, este, este año, eh, todavía no. Dicen que la próxima semana probablemente hay ese... Así que es probable que la, la próxima semana eh, tengamos ya cuenta, cuenta todos extendida. Ay, qué bueno. Ojalá. Sí, vamos a ver. Ojalá. Hola. Hola, Giselle. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y ustedes? Bien, bien. bien. Gracias. Estoy llegando. Richard. En Río de la Jara. Ahí me llegó otro, pero no sé qué pasó ahí. Estoy bien. Ya, Tamara está ahí. Buenas tardes, profesor. Hola, Tamara. ¿Tiene su, su cámara? Eh, sí, pero un poquito. Mejor así nos vemos. Vamos poquito, así que podemos vernos. Si entre con... Ok. So, um, yeah, let's start because time is money. So we have to start immediately. Ok. Valentina is coming. Now you are six, so... Uh, Let's start right now. Okay, so uh, most of you know me well. You know, my name is Ricardo Nunez and uh, I'm going to be teaching you this semester, this uh, course. Uh, as we were talking, there are certain regulations about that, but in general, uh, I was talking to Camila before you arrived and um, there are certain things that we are going to have uh, certain problems. We are going to have three instead of five periods which is, you know, not so good. Um, on the other hand, we are two, uh, two weeks delayed. Okay? So um, we have two weeks less than the other, than the morning program. But the good thing about us is that you are going to be few students. So with that, you are going to have more possibilities to participate in the class, to, uh, to, to be, you know, uh, normal okay? and with more, more time. Okay, so um, I sent you the, um, the the book digitalized. Did you get it? Did you get the book or yes. not? Yes. 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 Could you open it? No problem. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we are going to, we are going to start with the uh, with the class and uh, the first unit of the book is uh, where we live. Okay, where we live. And this is, um, it starts with uh, three questions, discussion questions, which are, read them please for me, Camila. The first one, number one, number two, and number three. Would you read uh, them? What, what page, sorry? The first page in, uh, is page six, unit one in the book. Ah, ah. What do you like most about the area where you grew up? Mm -hmm. What Second are the advantages one. and disadvantages of living abroad for a short time? Uh -huh. If you could live in another city, where would you choose? Why? Yeah. Okay. So in there you have three, three questions, right? Three questions which are interesting, all right? What do you like most about the area where you grew up? Do you understand the questions, by the way? No problem? Yeah. Uh, what do you like most about the area where you grew up? Uh, for example, where are you from, uh, Camila? Soy alemana. Alemana. You, Giselle, where are you from? Salamanca. Salamanca. Are you in Salamanca now? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, yeah. where are you from? Villa Alemana, too. <laughs> yeah, Villa Alemana, too. Nicole, where are you from? 
Nicole, can you hear me? Uh, Melissa, what about yes, you? Yes, Mr. Nicole, mm -hmm. yeah. where are you from, Nicole? Viña del Mar. Viña del Mar. Melissa, where are you from? From Quilpue. Quilpue. And uh, Maca? Macarena? Are you there? Uy, escucho super mal. Okay. But okay. she said oh. that she's from Los Andes. Ah, she said that you are from Los Andes, right? Okay, we're going to do uh, the first thing, break up rooms, and you're going to discuss. Try not to, I don't know if you know all, I don't know. In fact, I don't know. So I'm going to put them in breakout rooms for you to discuss about these three questions. What do you like most about the area where you grew up? What are the advantages and disadvantages of living abroad for a short time? If you if you have lived abroad, and if you could live in another city or country, where would you where where would you choose and why? Okay, so try to talk about it. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms for a little while, and that's it. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're going to put uh, two two rooms. Okay, yeah. Okay, so in one room, room one is Melissa. Uh, Ricardo and Valentina, and the other one is Camila, Nicole, and Giselle, okay? I'm going to open those, so try to join now, all right? El computador, el problema. Okay. Try to speak English. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, so try to talk about it, okay? What do you like most about the, the area where you grew up? Okay. Talk about you, you said in this case, uh, Ricardo, you are the man of the group. So try to talk about <laughs> you, where you are, where you grew up, etc. What, what well, I'm from Villa Alemana. And huh? this city is quite boring. I don't like it very much, but uh, I can remark that the city is really quiet and calm. And um, there's no, no, there are no many places to go or to visit uh, mm -hmm. because, because the city is really small is, and the majority of people that live here is um, uh, older than uh, younger, <laughs> Yeah, you know? So yeah, yeah. it's older, not really- old, Other than young people, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, older than young. Hey. So as you can see, um, the city is not really interesting. <laughs> okay, Melissa, what about you? Uh, I really hate to play. It's really boring. Uh, we don't have anything to do here. It's like the mall and anything else. Um, now we are in quarantine, so we cannot go anywhere. Yeah, so yeah it's, it's difficult really to move out. Small it's, happening, it's happening everywhere. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's happening everywhere. Yeah. Okay, and Valentina, what about you? I am so confused because I uh, I can't enter. Um, ah. You had you had to answer the questions that you have in the book, okay? What do you like most yes. about the area where you grew up? What do you like the most? You, are, you said that you are from Los Angeles, right? No, I from to Myanmar. Ah, oh, you're from Myanmar. Okay. What do you like the most about me? Yeah. What? 
what do you like the most about Viña? Um, the ocean, um, the um, uh, I like being on Mar, but uh, I don't know how to explain the way I like it. Um, All right, but Viña del Mar, what do you think about Viña, Ricardo? Do you like it? Don't you like it? Viña? Mm -hmm. Yes, I I like it. Uh, it's a beautiful place. I like uh, going to the beach and have a, a walk sometimes in summer, especially. Yeah. Okay, now you have two other questions. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living abroad for a short time? And if you could live in, in another country or in another city, I, I think that you should devote to the Question number three, okay? If you could live in another country, where would you choose and why? Okay, I'm going to leave the, this room, I'm going to go to the other room. So please uh, try to talk a little bit about it and uh, don't forget to speak English, okay? I'm going to be back in a minute, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can continue. Because uh, I'm, I'm only being um, watching movies and series about that country, and for that reason, I think I like Canada too. It's a nice, <laughs> nice country. What What are you talking about now? The second, no, the third the, question. The third there question, is. if you could live in another country, what would you choose and why? You said, this, you said that you choose Canada? Yes. And Camila, also Canada? No, I prefer no. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand, okay. And Nicole, what about you? I prefer France. France, wow. Because why? I would like to learn about French. Yeah, you would like to learn the language? Yes. Also about French culture to be, yeah. Yes. Have you ever been abroad, any of you? No. No. You uh, <gasps> you? Yes, uh, Argentina. And... Argentina. Ah, Argentina. live. No, live? Abroad, any, any place. Yeah, Argentina. Any other place? And Paraguay. Paraguay. When uh -huh. I was child. When you were a child. Uh, uh, um participate in a club that uh, protects the the um, I it, environment environment yeah okay you said but you participated participated in a club yes participated okay. remember we're talking in the past okay when did you go to Paraguay or Argentina do you remember the year or something um, I think in 2010. 2010. Ah, okay. Long time ago. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. And Camila, you haven't traveled abroad any, to any place? Uh, I went to Peru two years ago, but for a few weeks okay. to visit the country uh, and to buy things. Would you live in, in Peru, for example? No. No, why not? What is I prefer Chile than Peru because the <laughs> food. I prefer the Chilean food because really? I think per Peruvian food is spicy. I don't. I don't like the flavor. I I always wait. Oh, I love like, Peruvian oh, food. I don't oh, like. It. It's pretty good. Yeah, I love. It. I always go to when I could. I used to go to Peruvian restaurants in Valparaiso. Mm -hmm. Nicole, what about you? Have you ever traveled? Yes, uh, Where to? to Argentina too. To Argentina too. All right. What, yes. what uh, city did you visit in Argentina? Bariloche. <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Uh, I was, como puedo decir? How can I say? How can I say? Study tour? No, study tour. Uh, I, what, what do you want to say? Tell me in Spanish. Gira de estudio. Huh? Gira de estudio. 
ah, ya, 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 school trip, they usually say school trip. Mm, you yeah, went to a, trip. A, you went in a school trip. All right. Okay, we're going to go back again to the, um, to the main room, okay? Uh, so I'm going to, we're going to leave this, all right? I don't know how to do it. I mean, uh, close all rooms. Yeah, that's, that's the way it is. I get that. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, now we're going to, um, let's see. We're going to do the, um, the interview in there, okay? Uh, so please, uh, Giselle, can you read 201? It says, listen to, read that please. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Read the exercise two in there. Exam focus in what says is set down there. Listen to. I'm sorry, teacher, where? In the first page, exercise two. Or you have interview Hi. part one, exercise two. Read that. I can see it. But don't you have the book? Yes, because yes, but in the in the cell phone, but ah, yeah, it's too too small. Okay, mm. uh, okay, there you you have it. Ah, but I have to share it. Okay, no, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm going to read it to you. Okay, it says, listen to two candidates talking to an examiner. Which of the questions in activity one does the examiner ask? Okay, you are going to be faced to this kind of interviews in, in this uh, semester. So you have to be prepared to, to do this type of exercises, okay? You are going to be um, in front of other people who are going to interview you. Okay, this is part of the uh, uh, examinations if you want to get a certificate in English, all right? Okay, so you have two candidates. One is Carl and the other one is Elena. Uh, which of the candidates, Carl or Elena, provides responses of an appropriate length? Okay, so um, let's see. We're going to listen to it, please. Can you hear or not? No. 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 I think, yeah. Wait. I'm German. I live just outside Berlin now. Unit one. Odyssey? Speaking focus. No. Yes. D2. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Irene, and this is my colleague Deborah. And your names are? Carl Weber. Elena Calvi. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Thank you. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Where are you from, Carl? I'm German. I live just outside Berlin now, but I grew up in the centre of the city. And Elena? Easily. What do you do there, Eleanor? I work in a hotel. Hmm. Carl, what do you like most about the area where you grew up? Well, there are so many things, really, but I suppose the one that really stands out for me is living so close to a great city like Berlin. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, who has more influence on your life, your friends or your family? My family. Why? I don't know, really. They just do. Okay, we're going to listen to it again. And now try to pay attention to the, the answers that the two uh, 
participants or candidates um, do, all right? The answers, are they enough? Are they not enough? Uh, or aren't they enough, sorry, aren't they enough? Uh, or just are too short, okay? So listen again and try, I'm going to ask you then you about them. Right? Unit one, speaking focus, activity two. Good morning. My name is Irene, and this is my colleague Deborah. And your names are? Carl Weber. Elena Calvi. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Thank you. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Where are you from, Carl? I'm German. I live just outside Berlin now, but I grew up in the centre of the city. And Elena? Italy. What do you do there, Eleanor? I work in a hotel. Hmm. Carl, what do you like most about the area where you grew up? Well, there are so many things really, but I suppose the one that really stands out for me is living so close to a great city like Berlin. Mm -hmm. Eleanor, who has more influence on your life, your friends or your family? My family. Why? I don't know, really. They just do. All right. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, Melissa, can you tell me where they are from? Did you understand where they are from? The man is from Berlin, but I don't know from the, the woman. I don't know. Okay. Who knows about... Uh, where she was from? Ricardo? Uh, she's from Italy. She's from Italy. All right. Yeah. Now, if you, um, if you had to um, tell me who gave the, the best answers or the more complete answers, the man or the woman? The man. The man. Right? Okay. Yeah. He expresses more ideas. Okay. Because why do you think... Uh, uh, she she was so uh, well. In, in fact, she she has to she had to be asked more questions. Why, for example, because she said Italy. Why, you know? Then the the the, the interview was not very fluent. Okay, can you remember anything about uh, about the man, about what he said, uh, Camila? Uh, yes, uh, he likes living near to the big cities like Berlin. Yeah, she, she likes being living in a big city or near a big city like Berlin. Okay, and what uh, influenced more in uh, in her life, uh, Ricardo, about the, the woman? Uh, she said that her family, right? but she didn't uh, give more information about it. Yeah, that's right. She, she said my family, but she didn't give any, any information, okay? Okay, now, um, uh, I'm going to go now. I'm going to share this, but we're going to go. If you can go to page 152, please. 152. Can you go in, in your book to that page? I'm going to look for it in here. But anyway, try to, to get there. Yeah. Sorry, which page? 153, 153, not 52. Right? Yeah, are you there? Yeah, um, I'm going to share the screen anyway. Um, uh, it says here, speaking and use of English focus, activity five, okay? She said, take turns to take the role of examiner and candidate. Ask and answer the questions, all right? I'm going to go into breakout rooms again. And now you will have to choose uh, one who is going to be the who is going to be the interviewer and who is going to be the candidate, okay? So I'm going to put you in pairs, all right? I'm going to put you in pairs and then you will have to uh, 
try to do the questions. And here you have some questions like, for example, where are you from? What do you do there? How long have you been studying English? What do you, what do you enjoy most about studying English, etc.? And some other questions like, for example, what has been your most interesting travel experience so far? What did you like most about the area where you grew up, et cetera? So you have questions in there. And uh, so the idea is that at one moment, one is going to be the interviewer or, or the, um, the examiner, and the other person is going to be the candidate, okay? Yeah, so we're going to go into breakout rooms. You are one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do three breakout rooms. Okay, and uh, you are going to move in there, okay? Yep, so Melissa, Valentina, Camila, Ricardo, Nicole, Giselle, okay? So go into the rooms and try to, uh, one is going to be the interviewer, the other one is going to be a uh, uh, candidate, okay? You can go in. Valentina, can you, yeah, okay, Nicole. Can you go, Nicole? Find the. I, I can ask you. Okay, yes. who's going to be the who's going to be the the candidate is and, and who's going to be the um I'm going uh, to be the inter the interview no mm -hmm. um, interviewer or the interviewer yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. and the other person is going to be the candidate okay mm -hmm. okay so we'll start working no Spanish English only right mm -hmm. okay. okay continue sorry what page <laughs> I can't find one hundred and fifty three yeah one hundred and fifty what one hundred and fifty 153. One, Sorry. Okay, you can start. Okay. okay. Five years, I think it's yeah. been a long time. What do you enjoy the most about studying English? And the thing that I enjoy the most is that you from other cultures or other countries and without that barrier that exists when you don't when you don't know another language. So it's much more easy. It's much easier. Oh. Um, in the same line, what has been your most interesting travel experience so far? You, can you practice your English? Uh, no, it was uh, here in Chile. I, I haven't been to, to English speaking countries. Mm. Um, uh, I went to the south. It was amazing. The landscapes were beautiful. I I went to Puerto Montt, uh, Puerto Varas, Chiloé. Uh, the experience was uh, satisfying because I had never been there before. Now you can change roles, okay? So as one can can ask and the other one can answer, right? So. Change roles and try to um, try to 
to change the possibilities, okay? Yeah, okay. if you want to go to the other, to the other room. Things that teach us in the university about be a teacher. That? Who is asking? Who is asking, Giselle? Nicole. Are you? Nicole, you are asking the questions. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Giselle, you are the candidate. Okay? So, I want to hear you. I want to she listen to you. She told me that she likes the idea to be a teacher. And I respond that I like the way that teach us in the university. Right. Okay. Uh, now you could, you, I would like to change roles. Okay. Now the other person, the one who asked, now is going to answer. Okay. So who, mm -hmm. who asked the questions first? Nicole? Yes. Okay. Now you said you, you ask. Choose one of the questions in there and ask Nicole. Okay? Right now. Okay. okay. I am listening to you. Uh, Nicole, uh, what's the reason for uh, you are interested in study another language? I think that when I was uh, at the school, I have a great, um, uh, how can I say, notas? <laughs> I have great, a good grades or excellent grades. Excellent remember, grades. Remember that you are talking in the past, Nicole, so I had excellent grades. Had. I had excellent grades, uh -huh. and that motivates me to keeping studying, studying, studying the language. And then I start to talk with start my it. mom. Start it. To talk Start with it. my mom. Huh? To talk with my mom. Yes. And she told me that she thought that I have been always um interested in english all right okay we're going to stop now and we're going to go back okay to the main room okay Okay, the rest want to come. <clears throat> I think uh, soon we are going to have to leave the, this connection and start again, all right? Because it's, it told me that we had only 10 minutes, some minutes ago, so we must have like five minutes left, not more than that. Okay, so we're going to, we are going to have to disconnect and then connect again. Yeah. Okay. Valentina, Lisa, Camila, Isel, um, who else is missing? Uh, let's see, um, Ricardo is missing. Uh, Tamara? Yeah. Okay, I think we are enough now. So, uh, in this uh, in this part, okay, you were uh, facing an, uh, 
a type of exercise that is very important for the certification, okay? Because if you want to get a certificate in English in any level, you're going to have an interview, okay? And this interview is going to be with two uh, interviewers. One is going to be very close to you and the other one is going to be back taking notes, yeah? That person who is back usually takes the good and the bad things, okay? So when you are facing that situation, you don't have to get nervous because sometimes you see that the person is writing, writing. Sometimes it's writing bad things, but sometimes it's writing good things. So you have to be aware of that. The only thing that you have to concentrate on what you are being asked, okay? And um, you have to practice this because it's a lot of practice in order to, to do this, yeah? Uh, you have to have an idea on your mind and talk about it. Okay, uh, you don't have to be, you, you don't have to be very long. You don't, you don't have to, be, to give very long answers, just enough and necessary, not short, not too long. Okay, you have to go in between. So th those are the characteristics that an interview has, okay? So this is the first exercise of the class. And now we're going to go into the next page, which is page seven, page seven in your book. But this page is another type of exercise that you're going to become uh, used to doing it, all right? It's the multiple choice clause, yeah? It says here, look at the title of an article about children's dream homes. What other features do you think the children included in their dream homes? Any vocabulary that you don't understand? Do you understand all the things in there? Do you know about, oh, we all have a dream home. What is your dream home, Camila? Can you tell me big, some ideas of your dream home? A big house with a lot of uh, rooms. Yeah, how many rooms? And special rooms, like a movie room and a gamer room. Okay, so how many rooms do you think? How many rooms? Three, four, mm, five, six? I think five could be. Five rooms, okay. Three? Yeah, okay, what are the characteristics uh, does your house um, does your house have the dream house have Ricardo? He mentioned, for example, five rooms, rooms for a specific uh, uh, possibilities like game room or music room, uh, technological yeah. room, etc. Do you have any other thing that you would like to have in this house, your dream house? Uh, my 